Bogon Constructor Fleets. Here's what to do if you want to get a lift from a Bogon. Forget it. They're one of the most unpleasant races in the galaxy. Not actually evil, but bad-tempered, bureaucratic, officious, and callous. They wouldn't even lift a finger to save their own grandmothers from the ravenous bug-bladder beast of Troll without orders signed in triplicate. Sent in, sent back, queried, lost, found, subjected to public inquiry, lost again, and finally buried in soft peat for three months and recycled as fire lighters. The best way to get a drink out of a Vogon is to stick your finger down his throat, and the best way to irritate him is to feed his grandmother to the ravenous bug-bladder beast of Troll. On no account allow a Vogon to read poetry at you. Anatomical analysis of the Vogon reveals that its brain was originally a badly deformed, misplaced, and dyspeptic... D Y Yeah. Dyspeptic liver. The fact that they did is some kind of tribute to the thick-willed, slug-brained stubbornness of these creatures. Evolution, they said to themselves, who needs it? And what nature refused to do for them, they simply did without until such time as they were able to rectify the gross anatomical inconveniences with surgery. <coughs> Meanwhile, the natural forces on the planet Volksphere had been working overtime to make up for their earlier blunder. They brought forth scintillating, jeweled, scuttling crabs, which the Vogons ate. Smashing their shells with iron mallets. Tall, aspiring trees of breathtaking slenderness and color. Which the Vogons cut down and burned the crab meat with. Elegant, gazelle-like creatures with silken coats and dewy eyes. Which the Vogons would catch and sit on. They were no use for transport because their backs would snap instantly, but the Vogons sat on them anyway. Thus the planet Vogsphere whiled away an unhappy millennia until the Vogon suddenly discovered the principles of interstellar travel. Within a few short Vogue years, every last Vogon had migrated to the Megabrantis Cluster, the political hub of the galaxy, and now formed the immensely powerful backbone of the Galactic Civil Service. They have attempted to acquire learning. They have attempted to acquire style and social graces, but in most respects, the modern Vogon is little different than his primitive forebearers. Every year they import 27,000 scintillating jeweled scuttling crabs from their native planet and while away a happy drunken night smashing them to bits with iron mallets. Well, I don't like leaving a job unfinished any more than the next Vogon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Vogon beside him. Many, many light years from here. Indeed, from anywhere lies the grim and long-abandoned planet Vogsphere. Somewhere on a fetid, fog-bound mud bank on this planet there stands, surrounded by the dirty, broken, and empty carapaces of the last few jeweled scuttling crabs, a small stone monument which marks the place where it is thought the species Vogon Vogon Blurtis first rose. On that monument there is carved an arrow which points away into the fog under which is inscribed in plain simple letters the words, The Buck Stops There.